So now let's make profile page dynamic, right? So let's do that without wasting our time. So just click in the profile and just close this up. Okay. Now what all things it has, it has name, profile, it has a lot of stuff. So I think we can just pass a route parameter when we are navigating. Yeah, that will be a more better approach. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's give this object, maybe let's say picture, phone number and all those stuff, right? Okay. So we have name here. Let's say we will give a email field also email and that email will be, let's say ABC at the rate ABC.com and uh, uh, we have salary, right? We have SLA, RY salary and salary will be of, let's say five LPA and we have a phone number, right? So we just can give a phone and phone number will be, let's say one, two, three. Okay. And then we should also give a picture, right? So yeah, so let's give it, right? So PIC, T-U-R-E, picture. And that will be a URL. So for now, let's hard code this URL, right? So let's copy this up. So a profile will have a same image, right? All the persons will have the same image for now. Let's control V here. Okay, so we have now added, right? So we need to remove this. Right, and we can what we can do is we can press Alt Shift Down key to duplicate this and make sure you have added comma in between and you can just remove this comma last from last one. Okay. Now let's change the ID to let's say two and three. You know, we can just make ID string uh, string, right? So let's surround this with quotes, right? That will be more better. That will be more better, right? More better. More better okay now we can just hear uh where it is we were concatenating string while iterating right okay so we can just here now get rid of this quotes okay yeah now it will have a name let's say uh ramesh right and it will have let's say suresh yeah okay now let's change the uh, email id of ramesh it will be r-a-m-e-s-h ramesh and it will have suresh and let's say it has six lpa salary it has uh seven lpa salary it his phone number is four five six and his phone number is seven eight nine and he he is app developer and he is ml expert e-x-p-e-r-t like so okay so for now they will have a same profile picture but let's see how we can pass this uh, to how pass this data to profile okay now you know when we are iterating this data in this uh, while navigating by our clicking we can pass this item right item now in this item we are receiving this individual item right so we can just pass this item so how we can pass this while navigating we can just put here comma and we can we can just pass route parameters right so in we need to give it a second argument in object and this in object let's say let's make a key with name item right item and item will be equal to what item we are receiving here so when we will iterate first time we will receive this item when we will iterate second time we will receive this item when we will iterate third time we will receive this item okay so item will be equal to item what we are receiving from in here so you know we can we so we can see that here the both the key and the value are same so we can just condense this out to just item like so let's save it out and let's now in this profile component now let's receive these props Right, so how we can receive this props? So we can just write here props, props, and in the props, uh, we can access that. Uh, we can basically destructure something from the props. So let's write here const. Let's destructure that destructure from the props. So in this props, we can access those data by giving it props dot uh, route r o u route dot p a r a m s uh, in parameters what we have passed item so in parameter we have passed item now from item we need to grab the let's say id 
and the name of the person and let's say P I C T U R E picture P I C T U R E picture and we need to grab a phone number right and we need to grab the salary and what has left I think uh, all is done email we grabbed email no so let's write here email E not the name should be exactly same as we are giving it here right so I think everything is done right or maybe position we haven't wrote position okay so let's hi, put here and comma here and write P U S I T I U in position okay so let me double check this double double check it that uh, how to access this uh, navigating accessing where is the what we call it as uh, route parameters I am just searching for the route parameters okay passing parameters to route okay this is what I was looking so we can just pass it while navigating like so here we can pass parameters and how we can access that yeah we can access that from route params right route params and he is just passing an ID so he's just destructuring that particular ID but we want to destructure from the item right okay yeah so let's now use this now we can just replace this name with what the name we have here right what we our name we are pulling out from uh, this route parameters so just where was that so just write here name and then just close this bracket and here also just write POSITIU and position and the close this bracket. So we are putting JavaScript. So that is why we are using these brackets, right? And this is the email. So let's use the bracket as well. And here we can just write email and let's close this bracket. And here we can write just a uh, not like this phone and close this bracket here we can write let's say salary and let's close this bracket and where is the image where is our image Joe this is our image so here we can just get rid of this long URL and here instead we can write just picture PI is picture and all the variables are used only ID is not used okay leave that for now let's save this out and let's see if our profile is dynamic now if I click on Mukesh so I am able to see the Mukesh I am able to see the Mukesh with the Mukesh email and we have <laughs> the phone number and we have salary now let's click on app Ramesh so we can see okay so there is one issue we are not able to see the position right we are not able to see the position so let's say what typo we have made POSITION right so let's see if you as a tier one so maybe the name is not matching it up right so we have uh given p o s i so we forgot i in here so let's add i p o s i p o s i so so yeah the name should be identical to what we have gave and what we are just pulling that name right so they should be identical right so if it is not then it will not work so hit uh, just save this file as well and let's see if it now works right so let's click in here here Ramesh and we see we can have this app depth yeah uh, but it is not showing here right so I think uh, here also we need to give it an I here right okay let's save this out and everything should work now okay so we are able to see this Mukesh and now we are able to see the position of that as well right amazing beautiful and I am loving this application okay yeah, so we have made this profile dynamic. Now the only thing is we need to fetch these from the server. We should create this and just post that to a server, right? Yeah, and we should be able to save these email, these database, this data to server, right? So we just need to work on our server and database in the upcoming videos. So that is uh, all for this video. So I will catch you guys in very next video. Till then, bye bye.